Hey y'all, Grandpa Rose here. I want to talk to you about flowers today. Going out my back door, I need to look right past where the dog just went. At the bottom of my steps, I have a, a zinnia that self-sewed. Boom! It went my screen door and I should not have slammed it like that. But there's a zinnia. This is mid-afternoon. The, sh the shadows are, are pretty harsh. But what I want to show you, I'm going to show you several examples of this type of flower. This is in the family, like this is Zinnia, I said, and it's in the plant family uh, Asteraceae. It used to be called Compositae, because they're called composite flowers. Composite flowers because they're made up of multiple flowers to make one head, one flower. It's a composite of several different flowers. So here's a zinnia. And you can see in the zinnia really clearly. I'll put the dog. You can see really clearly in the zinnia the two types of flowers. These pink flowers on the outside are called the ray flowers. And the flowers in the middle, you see this yellow ring of flowers, those are the disc flowers. So think about the sun. You've got the sun's rays that come out, and then the disc of the sun in the middle. And there's the yellow, the yellow disc flowers. Let me show you some other flowers. The same, the same family. Pretty butterfly. They are butterfly magnets. Butterflies are an imp important pollinator. Well, this kind of zinnia, where the one by my door is more like this one right here with the butterfly on it. A lot of them are like this, and you really can't you really can't see that center the center disc. Dandelions are in the composite family, in the Asteraceae family. It's another one, another important herb, coneflowers. Coneflowers are Asteraceae. Again, look, here is the outside. Those are the ray flowers. And in the middle, these are the disc flowers. You can see. Those are the disc flowers, and those are the ray flowers. Let's see what else I can find that's asteraceae. I know we've got some more. You know what these are. Black eyed Susans. Very, very, very easy to tell. Again, there's the disc flowers and the ray flowers. The yellow, the yellow ray flowers and the brown disc flowers. And what else? Artichokes. Artichokes are basically thistles. And thistles are, are in the Asteraceae family. They're composites. They don't really look like composites. They don't have the classic ray pat, you know, ray flower and disc flowers. I'm thinking that the thistles only have the disc flowers and the ray flowers are missing. And another flower, another plant that's in the Asteraceae family is lettuce. Lettuce is actually a composite flower. So we do grow composite flowers in the garden. So I'm going to take you back inside and I want to show you what actually, I'm going to take apart a flower. I have a flower that, I've, that I cut off this morning and my puppy dog heard my word inside. So we're going to go inside and it makes him happy. Kai, Kai want to go in? Kai want in? Let's go in. We'll go in and then we'll talk about the flowers inside. It's hot out here. Hey, I am back inside and I want to continue what I was talking about outside about the composite flowers. Now, this is really kind of funny. Um, this is so stereotypical what people think of as a botanist. There are so many different things that botanists do, and only one of them is identifying flowers. 
There are a lot of other things that, that botanists do besides going out in the woods and picking flowers and figuring out what they are. And that's just only one of them. Let me show you this book. Hold on a second. Here we go. This book was one of my textbooks when I was in graduate school. Astrofamily, Asteraceae, also Compositae, is the sunflower family. It's the largest family of dicots and the second largest family of flowering plants. Only the Orchidaceae, orchids, has more species. Let me show you this picture. This is a drawing of a typical flower in the Astra family. And this is showing what one of what one of the disc flowers looks like. So this is showing a cutaway. This is a cutaway of this flower. And here, this diagram, this is showing the different kinds of, of flower types in, in an astro flower. And then here's the different kinds of, of flowers, the different kinds of heads, and what's on the different kinds of heads. This is what you've all been waiting for. Here's a zinnia flower. Let me zoom in on it. Zoom way in on it. You can see that this flower, look at the pollen on the paper. Look at it. to show you all this. I'm, I'm using, I'm going to use this probe. Find this. Where is it? Right there. Use it as a pointer. Just show you. Come in real close here. I'll, I'll, use, I'll try to use that camera looking over my shoulder in a few minutes. But right now I'm zooming in really close on this using my, my other little camera on my phone. Because it's taking a really good picture. Look at this. For some, I have a hard time using two hands trying to hold this. So I will, I will switch to the uh, overhead camera in a minute. But these right here, all of these, these flowers right here, and I'm saying flowers because each one of those is an individual flower. They're not just petals. Yes, they are petals. They're the petals of this flower. But each flower only has one petal. See that? It's been coming really close. I don't know if you can... I don't know if it'll focus that close. It's doing a pretty good job. But then you come out here. These are in the middle. These are the disc flowers right in here. And look at this one. This is a fabulous picture. Look at that, that picture right there. You see that? That's the stigma. See, remember this? Help with the female part of the flower. Right there is the stigma. It's coming out of this flower right down in there. Right there. I'm touching right there. You see, there's the stigma there. And then these flowers right here, each, look at this. You see, there's one, two, three. I'm saying four, five, five or six, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six individual flowers that are open right now. And obviously there's pollen on the paper, so they're producing pollen. Because these flowers around the outside, generally, they do sometimes produce pollen, but I don't see any stamens on these. So I suspect that these, these only have the female parts on them. When it's brand new, the first opening, the first day that they open, and there's only one row of flowers opening, all you see around the outside of Azinia are the stigmas. And you'll see a little, little ring of stigmas around the outside. I'm going to have to tease it apart, take it apart, and I will show you the individual flowers and what they look like. So let's do that. In okay, case so I have peeled back Peel back the flowers to that first ring of flowers, the ray flowers. And do you see the bottom part of that? What that is at the bottom is the ovary. But what is it? It's a seed. That looks like a zinni seed, doesn't it? Let me take that off. Here we go. Now look down here really closely. Oh, oh there we go. It's even better. But look really, really closely. 
that didn't move. Right there. See that right there? You see that right there? That's the stigma. That's the female part of the flower. Then here's the developing seed, the bottom of it, and pollen all over the place. So let's peel it back another layer. So there's one ray flower with, this, with the female part, the stigma, which is brown. I don't think it's going to focus any closer than that, but that's pretty good. And let's do one more layer. Take off some more. So right there, there's the individual disc flower. So these are in here, the middle, these are the disc flowers. See, they don't have petals on them. They should look different, don't they, without the petals? Let me go in another couple more layers. Right there. That's the disc flower. See the styles? See the stigma and styles? Look like, looks like a little, little Y. That's the female part of the flowers. And if you look really closely down here in the flowers, if you look closely, if you look really, really closely, you can see the tiny little pollen grains sticking to these flowers. So there you have it. There is, that is how a composite flower is composed. The composition of a composite flower. So this flower is so young. It's just a, a youngster. It's still, it's still a, a very, very young flower. You saw that when we started teasing it apart, there were only a couple of rings of flowers that had already that had already bloomed and there are still lots to go in the middle of that one so the only flowers that had actually the seeds that had started developing were in these ray flowers so here's the ray flowers that I peeled off the outside so that's pretty cool that is that is what a typical a typical composite flower that has both the ray and the disc flowers that's what it looks like on the inside. I think that's pretty cool.